The escalator was invented over a hundred years ago as an amusement park ride. The moving staircase was soon equipped with a moving handrail for safety reasons. But those early handrails were driven by oily chains, leaving passengers with greasy hands. Hold on tight as we take a look at how they're made. The handrail moves at the same speed as the stairs beneath you, making your ride safe. To make an escalator handrail, a machine called an extruder pulls synthetic rubber up into it. A turning screw inside the extruder forces the rubber through a die. 10 to 15 centimeter wide rubber strips roll out into a tank of water to cool because the heat from the extruder could alter the molecular structure. The rubber strips move over rollers that are part of a mechanical measuring system. There's an indicator on the roller that gauges the width and thickness of the rubber as it moves across. Over at the splitter machine, small round knives sliced rubberized cotton the same width as the rubber strips. Then, a mechanical puller unrolls material from four different spools. There are two streams of rubberized fabric, one stream of the synthetic rubber which came out of the extruder earlier, and one of rubberized cable wiring. They merge and stick together as they travel over a big steel roller. An unwinder peels away a plastic liner from the now four-plied strip. Next, a piece of rubberized fabric and one of synthetic rubber are placed on either side of the strip. Everything except the strip of rubber is pressed around a U-shaped aluminium former. The layers are stuck together. Tack cement is brushed on the outside and the synthetic rubber at the bottom is pulled up. The rim is held down. And using a hand roller, its edges are sealed. Now the handrail has taken shape, but it's not strong enough. So it's placed in a moulding press. A steel form is positioned inside the handrail so it holds its shape. The top part of the mould lowers and the handrail bakes under high pressure at 180 degrees Celsius. 15 minutes later, the mould lifts and a chemical reaction called vulcanization has occurred. The layers have been laminated and the handrail is now strong enough. The last step is to trim away the flash or excess material. Here's the latest way to make an escalator handrail. A puller unwinds brass-coated steel wires from spools, drawing them along with thermoplastic urethane and polyester fabric through the dies of an extruder. What comes out is a strip of plastic encased wires and sliders. The handrail shape passes through measuring devices that check its dimensions. The ends of two plastic handrails are spliced together to form an endless loop. Using a roller, the wires and plastic sliders of the inner carcass are pressed together. As he rolls, he blasts hot air into the splice with a heat gun. This softens the plastic so that it melds together. It's covered with a piece of thermoplastic urethane, and again, a heat gun is used to join the pieces. It's wiped clean with alcohol. It's heated up in a mold for a couple of minutes. The splice section melts together and then cool water hardens it. There's no seam line where the handrail loop could break. And that's the inside story on the escalator handrail. Something to think about when you're on your way up.
slow up No, I don't take shit, I got no love For the fakeness, if you wanna play tough And wanna hate this, I'll always show up And make a statement